Anytime you create a presentation, do a research project or paper, it's very important to cite all of your sources and all of your information that are not your own original construction. An easy way to create these citations is through the website citationmachine.net. With this site, you can choose the style of citation, whether it be APA, MLA, Chicago, Turabian, or any of the others. APA is the one that we recommend because it's the one that most colleges and universities insist that students use. So let's take a look at creating citations with APA. With Citation Machine, you have the option of creating a citation for a book, a magazine, newspaper, website, journal, film, or other. The other could be an advertisement, a news broadcast, a television broadcast, the Bible, a podcast, an interview, even an email where you have requested information from a particular individual can be cited through the Citation Machine site. Let's first try citating a book. Once you've chosen this, in the search bar, you can put in the title of your book and then it will begin to search for that particular book, gathering the information needed for the citation. If you've used a particular book as a source of information, you simply type the title into the search bar. The site then shows you what it finds with that particular title, and you choose the one that's the source you've used. The site will then create the citation for you including the title, the publisher, and the publication year. Choose Final Step. If you want to add any extra information, you can do so at this point. You also could put in page numbers if you want to just cite a particular section of the book. For instance, if you were using a textbook and you just needed a particular chapter. Then you create your citation. Once your citation is created, you can then copy and paste it into your presentation or your paper, however it's required by your instructor or for whom you're making the presentation. Now let's create one for a website. Choose the website tab. In your search bar, you can place the URL or just a keyword for the particular website. Search. And the site finds the particular website that you have been using. Once again, you select, it tells you what information it was able to find. With the final step, you create the citation. And you're once again ready to copy and paste and put your citation into your presentation or on your paper. In a Word document, your work cited would look like this with your citations for your website and for your book and any other sources that you would have. In a PowerPoint presentation, your work cited looks something similar to this. In any instance, you would want to have your sources in alphabetical order by the author's last name or the first word of the citation. Including citations, a bibliography, a work cited is very important to maintain the integrity of your presentation or your production. Plagiarism is a big deal, 
And the best way to avoid an accusation of plagiarism is citation. When in doubt, cite. Citation Machine is an easy way to create those necessary citations. This site can also help you to create parenthetical citations as well as a title page and even offers a plagiarism checker.